Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at wiring a capacitive proximity NPN PMP sensor to the Click PLC. And up on my screen here, we'll see the website of Automation Direct where we they do have some capacitive proximity sensors. And we're going to be using an 18 millimeter round one. And you'll see here, we'll just look at the overview. It's going to be a plastic housing and it's normally open or normally closed selectable. The distance of sensing is 12 millimeters. Our supply voltage is 10 to 36 volts. Switching frequency is uh, 10 hertz or 10 times a second. It has a IP65 or IP67 rating. We also have an LED uh, status indicator and an M12 quick disconnect. We also have a auto detect circuit. We have a push uh, button teach functions and we have the UL and, and CE approvals and Rojas. Uh, we also have a lifetime warranty and we have mounting accessories that are available for this uh, particular product. So if we look actually at the specifications itself, we can see here that we, um, some of the interesting features is we have short circuit protection, which is a great feature. It'll prevent you from miswiring this sensor. And then we have our wiring diagrams here. We have a reverse polarity protection as well. So a nice little uh, uh, option here for us. And then for our sensor cables, this uses an M12 four pin sensor. And so we're gonna be, yeah, there's a wide selection that you can choose from, but we'll choose this particular cable. It's a CD12L-OB-020A0. And um, it's just the one that we had. And then we have the uh, teach functions on this as well, and we'll go over those. So really a, a capacity or a proximity sensor switch is able to detect objects um, presence without physical contact. So it's not like a limit switch where you're actually actually hitting that object. So there's no physical contact means there's no moving parts and no wear. So your life expectancy of the sensor is increased as you see a lifetime warranty on this product. Then a capacitive uh, proxy sen sensor will detect ferrous and non-ferrous objects and the sensor works by oscillating the charge on plates in the sensor. When an object is placed in front of the surface, the amount of current flow is detected, its capacitance, and the permeability will determine the distance that the object can be detected. So even though we have a 12 millimeter sensing range, that may change depending on the object that we're actually detecting. So let's just look at um, our our actual hardware and here it is right here you can see here's my uh, uh, capacitive proximity sensor and we're wired into our uh, click PLC right here and we're communicating to the click through our Ethernet port so if we look at the wiring diagram this is our M12 quick uh, disconnect it's a four pin and we have uh, four wires coming out of this uh, unit we have a black wire, which is our switching wire, which goes into our actual input. Then we also have our uh, brown wire, which is our plus voltage. And we have a blue wire, which comes back, which is our zero volts DC. And then we have our common for input, which is our white blue in our case here. And we're going right now to the zero volt DC. So let's just take a look at the wiring and there is my pin connection. We look over, currently right now, we are, are wired up for uh, uh, PMP, or pause of switching, or sourcing a load. So you can see that right now my load appears between my blue, and when we switch it, we're switching it to our brown wire. So, and what you can see is that currently our sensor is on, it's actually sensing the table. If I lift that off, um, the, the sensor goes off and then when I look at the, anything near the, the tip of it You can see how it detects it So that is uh, my wiring for that now, let's change that wiring and what we'll do is we'll change it to um, a Negative switching or sinking the load so in order to do that, you'll see my black switch really stays the same as my input and my load now appears between my brown and my black wire as opposed to my load appearing between my black and my blue. 
So what we'll do is just uh, change this wiring and we'll take our common right here and we'll pull that common out and we'll connect our common back into our positive here 24 volt so now if I look at the way I have this wired you will see that we have my uh, common now positive voltage going into my um, common or my common for my input my switching wire so my black and my blue comes down and it goes into my zero volt. So that's exactly the way we have it up here on our screen. So let's plug that back in. And sure enough, there's my um, operation. And I can see that if I put my um, object in front, we now detect that and the wiring is correct. So that seems everything seems to be working there. Now the next uh, next thing is, is our teach functions, and basically right now we have it set so that nothing is detected. It's actually normally open, and then when we detect something, it becomes normally closed and completes our circuit. So in order to change that, we have two buttons on here, and if we hit and hold the button. Uh, between two and six seconds it will actually change the the way that it operates so right now it's normally open let's change it normally closed by hitting the uh, uh, out on button and we'll hold that down and you'll see it flash and then we'll let, let it go now we now we are operating normally closed so currently right now it's all on when I introduce something it turns off so I set this down on a table, text the table and turns off. So that's my normally closed. If I want to go back to my normally open, again, I would select the out off button and hold it. Wait two to six seconds and let go of it. And now it's turned back into my normally open until an object comes by and turns it on. Now over time, what you'll see is that we will have dust and build up possibly on the end of the sensor and when that happens sometimes it will detect when we don't really want the detect so we can zero that out again by hitting and holding our out off and this time here we will hold it uh, for over six seconds you'll see it flashes a little bit quicker and then we can let go and now we've tied it so that we now have our dust or whatever is on the sensor and we can still make it operate. Okay. So we can switch normally open, normally closed, and we can account for dust and everything else. Now, if we have an object and this is mounted, if we can also set it so that we can actually see the object and we'd have um, out on, and we put the object in front and hold it again for over six seconds. And that's exactly how the teach function works. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have not any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.